21 emerging technologies for 21st century in less than 12 minutes. Hello friends, today we're going to talk about key emerging technologies in 2023 and we're going to get a basic understanding on all of these. We will also try to group them together to get a better understanding of the important ones and one from the perspective of someone who would like to learn and make a career in these technologies and then also from the perspective of various small and medium sized businesses that can take advantage of these technologies to get ahead of the competition. So let's get started. Number one, artificial intelligence and machine learning. Think about this like really smart robots that can learn and make decisions on their own just by looking at the data and spotting those patterns. Next one is Internet of Things or IoT is like a giant club for smart devices out there and they can all talk to each other and share information. It helps the business to gather tons of data and automate their processes. Next one is blockchain. Blockchain is like a super secure ledger that keeps track of all the transactions that happen and makes sure that they are not fake. It can be used in a lot of industries to make things more transparent and reduce fraud. 5G is the new hotness in mobile network technology and it's gonna make it so your phone and other devices can connect to the internet super fast and smoothly. Augmented reality and virtual reality are like magic glasses and headsets that you can see and interact with computer generated stuff as if it were real. They can be used for things like training and marketing and seeing what product would look like in your living room. Quantum computers. Quantum computers are like supercomputers on steroids. They are so powerful that they can solve problems that regular computers wouldn't even know where to start. They're still being developed, but they have the potential to change lots. Edge computing is like decentralizing your data processing so it happens right at the edge of the network instead of in a central location. It helps businesses to analyze that data faster and more efficiently. Robotic process automation or RPA is like using little software robots to do all the boring routine tasks for you. It can help businesses to be more efficient and make fewer mistakes. Biometric authentication is like using unique physical characteristics like your face or fingerprints to identify you. It can be used to improve the security and get rid of the passwords. NLP is like giving computers the ability to understand and interpret human language. Autonomous vehicles are like self-driving cars and drones that can operate without human controlling them. 3D printing is like creating physical objects by building them up layer by layer from a digital file. Renewable energy is like clean, sustainable energy sources that won't run out. It's important for businesses and governments to use renewable energy to reduce their carbon emissions and help save the planet. Examples of renewable energy include solar panels which uses the sun's energy to generate electricity and wind turbines which uses wind's energy to do the same thing. Using renewable energy it's like a win-win. It's good for the environment and it can save you money on your energy bills in the long run. Advanced analytics is like using big complicated data sets to find insights and patterns. It can help businesses make better decisions. Cloud computing is like accessing computing resources like storage and processing power over the internet. It can help businesses to store and access data more easily and flexibly. Digital twins, like virtual copies of physical assets or systems that can be used to optimize their performance. Advanced robotics is like advanced robots that can do complex tasks. Smart cities are like cities that use technology to make life better for their residents. They may use sensors and analytics to optimize the use of resources like energy and water or to improve transportation and public safety. Nanotechnology is like the study and use of super small materials and devices at a scale of 1 to 100 nanometers. It has potential to change a lot of industries including electronics, energy and medicine. Telemedicine is like providing healthcare services remotely using telecommunications and information technology. It can help people in the rural or undeserved areas to access 
medical care more easily. Biotechnology is like having living organisms or their products to make or modify products to improve crops or to develop drugs. Okay, that was a lot of information. If you'd like to read, then you might find our ebook useful. Our team would add a link in the description or else you could just go to copperdigital.com and download that from the resources page. If ebooks is not your thing and you would just like to watch videos like this, then I would appreciate if you could subscribe to our channel so that it would really encourage us and help us bring more such content to you. So here are the industries that are considered by our research team, healthcare, finance, manufacturing, supply chain and transportation, energy, retail, agriculture. The healthcare industry is getting a major boost thanks to some seriously impressive technologies. AI and ML are helping doctors analyze medical records and assist with diagnosis. Blockchain is making it easier to securely store and share medical records. Quantum computing is helping researchers find new treatments and cures. RPA is in automating all sorts of tasks, freeing up human workers to do important stuff. Biometric authentication is making it more secure to access medical records. 3D printing is revolutionizing the way we create prosthetics and other medical devices. Advanced analytics is helping healthcare professionals make better, more informed decisions. Cloud computing is making it easier to store and access all the important healthcare data. Nanotechnology is helping create new treatments and therapy. Telemedicine is making it easier for patients to access healthcare remotely. And biotechnology is helping researchers find new cures and treatments. It's like healthcare industry is getting a whole set of superpowers and we are here for it. Next, let's go to the finance industry. The finance industry is getting a major upgrade thanks to some seriously impressive technologies. AI and ML are helping analyze and make sense of all those confusing financial data sets. Blockchain is making transactions faster, cheaper, and more secure. Quantum computing is helping solve some seriously complex financial problems. RPA is automating all sorts of boring tasks, freeing up human workers to do the more fun stuff. And advanced analytics is helping financial institutions make better, more informed decisions. It's like the finance industry is also, just like healthcare, getting a whole new set of superpowers and we are here for it. Whoa! Nearly the manufacturing industry is getting a major facelift also to some seriously impressive technologies. AI and ML are streamlining production processes and increasing efficiency. The industrial IoT is connecting all sorts of machines and systems making it easier to track and optimize production. Edge computing is helping analyze and process data at the source. RPA is is automating all sorts of tasks, freeing up human workers. 3D printing is revolutionizing the way we create and produce products. Now, renewable energy is making it more sustainable to produce all those goodies. Digital twins are helping design and test products virtually. And advanced robotics is taking over all sorts of tasks as well, freeing up humans to do other tasks that require more brains. It is a whole new world in manufacturing, folks. Now, hold on to your cargo pants. The supply Supply chain and transportation industry is getting a major upgrade with the help of some seriously cool technologies. Again, AI and ML are helping optimize routes and streamline logistics. IoT is connecting different devices and making it easier to track those packages and shipments. 5G is providing lightning fast connectivity for all those connected devices. And let's not forget the autonomous vehicles, advanced robotics and advanced analytics. They are revolutionizing the way we transport goods and get them to the final destination much quicker. It's like the wild west of supply chain and transportation out there, but with way more robots, less horse poop. So you're thinking about making a career in one of these fancy emerging technologies, huh? Well, it's tough to exactly say what kind of skills you would need because it depends on that specific tech and how you're using it. But here are some general ideas. If you're into AI and machine learning, you might need to be good at math, computer science, and data science. If you are into Internet of Things, then edge computing, or there are some other technologies related to 
to networking, security, software development that you would need to learn. If you're into blockchain, then you would need to be a cryptography pro. Know your way around the distributed systems and be pretty good at computer science. If you're into AR VR, then you might need to know your way around computer graphics, human computer interaction, and software development. If you like advanced robotics, you might need to be a robotics expert. You should know your way around the control systems and have a good mechanical engineering degree to be good at that. If you like smart cities, then you might need to know your way around urban planning, civil engineering, and data analytics. If you're into nanotechnology, then you would need material science, chemistry, physics. If you like 5G and want to make a career there, then you might need to be an expert in telecommunications engineering, network design, wireless communication, something like what I did. If you are into quantum computing, you might need to be good at physics, computer science, and math. If you're into renewable energy, then you might need to be good at electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, environmental science. If you want to get into cloud computing, then you might need to learn computer science, networking, software development. If you're into telemedicine, you might need to be good at healthcare, information technology, and telecommunications. Hope this helps. If you have any more questions, then let me know. If you like this content, then subscribe to my channel so we can continue to bring more such content for you. Until next time, goodbye.